Hey, how are you? What's up, everybody? So we're in a pretty cool area in uh, Benton. So yeah, we're gonna go to the market. I'm gonna show you how a local would shop. A typical local Vietnamese living in a Vietnamese house around here. How they shop for their groceries, essentially. They don't have to do a mark uh, like a grocery store, I'll tell you that much. You'll see, it's pretty cool. Maybe we'll get some street food. Who knows? Been looking at apartments every day. Nice. Nail lady. She's kind of cute. A little bit of depth. There's an internet cafe right here. I'm trying to get my fucking jewel to work. I hate it when it's a bad cart, when you get a bad cart. Oh, by spring roll. I've logged this before, but long ago, so most of you haven't watched it. You have to make video for your new subscribers, not just your old ones. It's a fine balance between that, that you learn as a YouTuber. And each time, you know, I've shot this before where we're going, but my dialogue is going to be different, and there's going to be different vendors, there's going to be different stuff, so it's, and you know, it's part of my daily life. I need lettuce today and some vegetables, so. Yeah, I needed to go to the market after I looked at uh, an apartment in Ben Thon. The only dog-friendly apartment really around. Not bad. 800 for a one-bedroom. Xin chào. 800 for a one-bedroom. That had a stove. Pretty much just like a Golden River. Looked pretty, pretty close. Actually very comparable. A little doggy. So this part of Ben Thon we're in is, is all Vietnamese. The entire thing. I don't, you'll see a Westerner occasionally eat here. This place is pretty good. I've eaten here. This place on the corner is the most popular one though. This place does the business. Their lunch crowd is insane, man. I'll show you if you want some good. I think it's like uh, chicken, grilled chicken. This place does insane lunch. Like this whole thing's packed out. Every table's jam packed. She's got chickens going on this grill. I think it closes up around around two, so it's two thirty. Yeah, this place is usually all packed. I've eaten here before. So now we're getting into the what they would call in Asia a wet market. Um, if you've never been to Asia, you've probably never seen a wet market. You've only heard about them. And you probably only heard bad because they say that's how uh, the China, the China, the CCP virus flew in. She got some really nice garlic. Beautiful garlic. We got some shallots there. Some ginger. She got some nice looking potatoes too. Good looking cucumbers. Look at her tomatoes. The tomatoes are amazing. I'll definitely come and scoop up some produce for her. What's her lettuce look like? She's got nice little lettuce heads too. We'll come and get a bunch of stuff from her. We'll definitely be making purchases at her stall. That is some of the nicest tomatoes I've seen all year. Hopefully the Sony picked up the redness and the, the, how perfectly ripe those were. I'm huge into tomatoes, if you didn't know. So these are flowers for the dead, usually, that you would leave for the day of their, their reckoning. Different fruits. Get, let's get out of here, demonetize music. Why am I? Xin chào. Hello. 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 There's, Hello. Pork, there's a pork lady. Hello, white <laughs> hair. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. No. Go. No. She, she, go. <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> Sometimes they want me on camera sometimes. I respect these ladies fully if they don't want to be on camera, no problem. Usually they're worried that like Vietnam law is going to see it. Maybe you can't legally tend pork, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing, some kind of street repair? The Sony they never care because they don't think it's a real camera. Oh, these are moldy bananas, I don't know about those. 
She's got great looking tomatoes too, so it must be tomato season. It must be getting into tomato season. Good looking fruits. Lovely looking fruit. We are not buying winning seafood. She eats way too much seafood. She's allergic to it. She gets, gets her face breaks out. I keep trying to tell her to stop eating seafood. It's, she's allergic to shellfish. And she knows it now and she'll still just crush it down. She doesn't eat any fried things, so. Somebody was trying to make comments why she has a breakout right now on her face. And that is the reason she eats shellfish and she's allergic to it and she likes it so much she doesn't care. Maybe one day. That dog had the longest nipples ever and that thing's given birth to who knows how many litters. How many dogs has that dog produced? <laughs> no way to know. This is household goods, sauces, hot sauces, ketchup, crackers, stuff like that. Laundry soap, toilet paper. So like you wouldn't need to go to a co-op because you can just come here and buy stuff you would need inside of like a grocery store. You can make this a one-stop shop if you choose to make it a one-stop shop. They do a lot of, uh, it's a lot of live killing of chickens and shit down here too. This lady looks like she is skinning a fish right now. Let's see. Skinning a fish? Yeah, she's skinning a fish. Deep gutting it. Oh my God. Descaling it, getting it ready for them. Don't stay too long or get yelled at. Yeah, it must be tomato season. Look at these carrots. Carrots are good for your fish. Nice onions. We must be coming back into. There's a, a month or two there where produce just wasn't that nice. And now it's all looking pretty. Sinchow. She liked Chris. Big old smile. I can be a papa. <laughs> Fruit. These are oranges. I don't really eat too much. Pineapple, too sugary. This is the the uh, seafood ladies. This lady's a little bit more expensive than this lady. So if you're gonna come here, this lady's better price. She hooks it up better with the prices. I'll send Winnie a teaser picture, watch. Let me take a picture so I can tease Winnie. There's a Chuck's Burger down here now. Too. Find me loose. She has to make that choice on her own now. So this lady usually has, oh, here's the orange juice lady. So this is the orange juice lady. She's 15, 15K for one kg, like 60 cents, I wanna say, 55 cents. Don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. I translate perfectly not on camera. I get brain farts sometimes, so. You try to come in and translate it. She's got all the different forest vegetables they call when he calls them. Like some oregano, stuff like that, basil. She's got nice looking lettuce heads too, man. I'm gonna put them in there. She's probably been working, working all day. Oh, this must be pissed down. He's got good looking tomatoes. Sweet, a lot of different potatoes he's got. Out. Pumpkin, green beans, lady fingers. He's got a lot. Oh, they're fixing the roof here, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like they're getting ready to fix the roof. Here's a chicken guy, so you'll buy the chicken and he'll slaughter it for you here. Death upon purchase. Catfish? These look like catfish. No, no, no. She doesn't want to be on film. <laughs> she doesn't want her catfish on film. Now she's in the retreat. She's running. <laughs> so we've got more. Yeah, it must be tomato season because these tomatoes look way better than they have all year. The produce here just looks way better than what it was a month ago. Got good little red lettuce, little lettuce balls here too. These are my favorite because I can just buy a few and then I don't waste the lettuce. 
because you know you got to get the lettuce pretty quickly here because there's no preservatives or you know vegetables go bad in a day or two because they they're not pumped with any chemical. Oh, Winnie said no. See, she's being smart now. They're not pumped with any chemicals or anything like that. So let's go buy some lettuce, tomatoes from the, the nice girl that we saw again. There's a whole market in here. I've shot this before though. So there's no point in like going in and reshooting this. If you want to see it, just look for that video. You should be watching all my back catalog of videos anyway, so. Market's getting ready to close. They're closing early today. They're usually going strong. 15, one kg for watermelon. These are pretty good looking watermelons too. Radish, it looks like. I've been off the orange juice for a while. I don't know what these are. Some kind of zucchini maybe. Bittersweet, bitter melon. This is what that thing is. It's bitter. They stuff it like a green pepper, but it doesn't taste anything like a stuffed green pepper. But they make it just like a green pepper. Usually there's a beef guy down here. Huh? He must have made his money for the day or closed down early. He's usually here till four. So that's his stall right here. This is the beef guy's stall. Right here. So yeah, that's, we'll make a purchase and then that, that'll conclude, uh, you, you know, how a, a typical Viet in a Viet neighborhood that's on, you know, a Viet budget will sh shop for their goods, you know? They'll just walk right outside of their, their house, come down here and grab what they need. And a lot of those stalls will stay open. This lady will repair your clothing. So if you need your clothing repaired, you can just take it here and she'll do quick sewing or she'll like uh, fix anything if it's oversized or undersized, so. Like, they, these are all over the place. They're super handy. I've talked about them before. I have shorts that I can't really get that I get repaired all the time because I wear them so much. I'll eventually do a video on how to get stuff from America here. It's pretty clever how they do it. And yeah, I might provide some kind of, you know, go between for you for that here, for expats here that need to get stuff from America. Because there's a bit of a trust system to go on it, so. We have a, a guy now that's super trustworthy, so yeah. I don't know how he would feel about playing with uh, others, so. Oh, big tomatoes. You don't usually see the big, uh, big ones. This lady's stall is pretty much popping out. It's probably some kind of noodle. I don't know if this is the cold noodle. Oh, Charlie. Looks like the cold noodle, yeah. Cold noodle with a crispy, uh, crispy spring roll, deep fried, and a little cut of pork. Some kind of clothing store in here. I've never gone in there. I'm, I have no need to. Let's get over to the girl and buy, uh, buy what we need. She might know English too because she's young. I don't know what the kind of repair work they're trying to do with that. Is that cement? I think that's some kind of cement. Didn't quite look right though. <laughs> yeah, the produce is so much nicer now. So there must have been a little down season. Pork lady doesn't want to be on. I bought so much pork from her too, and filmed her before. But it was with the Sony X3000, so she probably didn't know what it was. Or they think I'm more professional now because I have like a real camera rig. Who knows? Get some lettuce from this girl. Charlie. Ciao. Hi. Two of these. Two of these. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. And there's nice garlic here. Shouldn't be more than like 20k, 30k. She's asking prices. Mm. 
tổng cộng là hết 31 uh, uh, This is, all of this is 30 30? Yes Good deal, okay Come on Yeah Come here Bye 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 <laughs> So 30, that's not bad at all I'm Talking like a dollar Dollar 20 maybe Dollar 30 yeah, talking super cheap. I'll walk you out of here because actually I want to show you something interesting that I did not know. I think Chuck's Burger just opened up a location here. And that is quite dangerous for fat and broke. Because my cheat meal every week is... Uh, sometimes I cheat twice. Not gonna lie. I'm not perfect. I only eat once a day. And I eat pretty much keto, so... Sometimes, maybe twice a week, I'll roll off the rails and get a cheeseburger for, for dinner but it doesn't affect the ketosis at all. Especially if I don't get fries. Or if I do get fries, I have like five and just consume the burger and it, I do fine with it, with it not kicking me out of uh, ketosis. And I've been losing weight. Shirts are bigger. All the Hawaiian shirts are too big now. So I don't know if we'll see a return to those. I literally have to buy a different size. They're massively huge on me now. You can see it in my face too. I'm gonna take my, my face mask off. I haven't showed my face all vlog. Yeah, but you can see I've lost a little bit of weight in my face too. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take you to show you the Chuck's Burger. We just did uh, how, how Vietnamese grocery shops. Yes, I've shot videos like this before. This one went really well. I'd already been doing a bunch of dialogue with other videos, so figured what the hell, I had to get some stuff. Why not show you guys too? So I'm going to flip it back over and we're going to look at Chuck's Burger and then we're going to call it. All right. All right, all right, all right. And then I'm shooting more content tonight. There's a new uh, street, street food market that opened up in, not going to say the district. There's been this girl in Vietnam that's been copying every one of my videos. Like if I go somewhere, she goes there two days later. <laughs> and makes the same video. And she speaks pretty broken English, but she understands that the market's better in America. So she speaks English the whole time, which is kind of smart on her part because the ad revenue, it's why I don't care that about Vietnam as far as ad revenue and like actual, you know, long, strong fan base here is the CPM is like the worst out of almost any country in the world besides like India and a few others. So, I mean, yeah, my target audience is, you know, Americans. And it seems this girl has figured that out as well. There's some ladies in the nail shop getting their nails did. It seems this lady has figured it out because she goes for American audience by speaking uh, English. It's a shame how they do that, the ad thing and it's so low per, per some countries. Thankfully, you know, my fan base is in uh, America and Australia and Singapore. Lots of places now are splitting for second and third place because we've had so much substantial growth in the past uh, 45 days. We've just absolutely been flexing. So hopefully we'll make it on this battery, but if we don't, thanks for watching. I've got like a little quarter percent left, so I think I can make it to where pasture is and show you this new location. If you eat at, pa uh, not pasture, at uh, Chuck's Burger, if you eat at Chuck's Burger, you want to get a double cheeseburger, grilled onions, and the cheese fries. And the double cheeseburger is pretty darn close to a In-N-Out double-double. It's pretty close. The only thing they don't have is the spread. The spread doesn't taste like spread from In-N-Out. But other than that, they've got it pretty close. I think Soul Burger's uh, In-N-Out double-double has a slight advantage to it though. Soul Burger's definitely the premium burger with with wagon wheel and then chuck's third that's how i, I would go soul burger wagon wheel you can go either way i, I pick soul burger then wagon wheel then chuck's are in my opinion the three best burgers in uh vietnam and then fast food burgers you know whopper is just a totally different taste than a a big mac i would say the big mac though is better here but i hanker for a whopper every once in a while so the Whopper's not bad either. Is there a taco place here? There's a Taco Fuego here now too. Maybe that's always been there. 
Taco Suego. I think someone told me to go there. I don't eat too much Mexican food. It fucks me up. I don't know if this Chuck's has always been here and I just missed it, but there you go. I mean, this is, if you're in Vinholms, this is like a 10 minute walk. Yo. Xin chào. <laughs> so there's a Taco Suego and a Chuck's here. I don't know if the Chuck's is new though. I, I swear I don't remember a Chuck's being here. I don't remember Fuego either, but it looks like the Fuego's been here for a while. This is much closer than my Chuck's, the other one. Let me show you, let's see. You can probably tell if it is new. It looks new to me. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, this is, you wanna go with, I haven't had the chili dog yet, but it looks good, but you wanna go with the one right in the middle there. The patty isn't that thick, it's a proper, proper patty. I'll look it up and see see if it's uh, new or not, but the decoration's cool. I've done a whole review at Chuck's Burger if you wanna see the Chuck's Burger review. Tacos Fuegos, I have not had to my knowledge, but they have Pasture Brewing Company beer, which is great beer. Let me adjust the camera. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Have a good day. See you on the next one. Peace out.